Hi dear students, this particular class I am going to find out the area of a triangle formed by three points on the parabola. At those three points, we draw three tangents. With those three tangents, you will get a triangle. What is the area of the triangle? Those ideas I am going to discuss. All of you pay attention here. So this is a standard parabola y square is equals to 4ax y square is equals to 4ax parabola here we have a point t1 let us say that is a t1 square comma 2a t1 right here there is another point let us say that is a here here I am taking this one as b that point is equals to a t2 square comma 2a t2 that is second point on the parabola and this is the third point on the parabola let us say that is c a t3 square comma 2a t3 right so now with the help of these three points no doubt we are getting a triangle i am asking what about the area of this triangle let us say the area of this triangle is equals to delta 1 next what i am doing is at a point A, a tangent is drawn. At a point B, also a tangent is drawn. At a point C, also a tangent is drawn. These are the three tangents. These three tangents are intersecting at these three points. Now let us say this point as P and this point is equals to Q and this point is equals to R. We have a triangle with the help of the tangents. The triangle area is equals to say delta 2. But what about delta 1 and what about delta 2? That's what I am going to find out here. First of all, I am finding delta 1. Delta 1. Yes, the area of a triangle you can find out in different ways. So half into x1 y1, x2, y2, x3, y3 and the first point we have to write again at the end. This is one way you can find out the area of a triangle or otherwise you can use half into modulus of x1 into y2 minus y3 plus x2 into y3 minus y1 plus x3 into y1 minus y2 so with the help of this we can find out the area of a triangle but i am not going to use these two methods because the reason is i already discussed you properties of determinants i discussed with the help of the determinant how to find out the area of a triangle also i discussed that's why area of a triangle when three points given as given by half into determinant of x1 into x1 y1 1 first row Second row x2, y2, 1 and the third row x3, y3, 1. So this determinant value is the same as this value, right? So that's why this determinant is nothing but area of a triangle with coordinates x1, y1, x2, y2, x3, y3. These are the three methods we can find out the area of a triangle. Okay, so now I am going to use this particular idea. Any idea you can get, you will get the same answer. I am going to use this idea for finding the area of a triangle ABC. Okay, first of all, we are finding the area of a triangle ABC. That is nothing but delta 1. That is equals to half into determinant of first one. AT1 square. Next, 2AT1, 1. Next x2 y2 so a t2 square 2 a t2 1 the next one a t3 square 2 a t3 1 so that is the area of a triangle and according to the properties of determinants from the first column we can take a common from the second column we can take 2 a common so that's why total we are getting 1 by 2 into from first column we can take a common from the second column we can take 2a common then we will get t1 square t1 1 next t2 square t2 1 next t3 square t2 
10, 3, 1, determinant one you will get. So now we can simplify further that one also. A square into what I am doing, observe here. First row as it is T1 square, T1, 1. Next, second row changes as R2 changes as R2 minus R1. R2 minus R1. Then what we will get? T2 square minus T1 square. R2 minus R1. So you will get T2 minus T1. R2 minus R1 it becomes 0. Similarly, R3 changes as R3 minus R1. R3 minus R1, yes, definitely you will get T3 square minus T1 square. T3 minus T1, next again you will get 1 minus 1, 0. R2 minus R1, R3 minus R1, right? So now we can find out here A square into, tell me now from the second row what we can take common. Here we have T2 minus T1. Here also we can take T2 minus T1 common. Here 0 into T2 minus T1. So we can take T2 minus T1 common. Then we will get T2 minus T1 from the second row common. From the third row we can take T3 minus T1 common. Then what left? The remaining part I am writing here. T1 square. T1, 1. Right? Next, T2 plus 1. T1. Next one is 1. The next one is 0. Next, T3 plus T1. 1, 0. So that's what the step we got. Next what I am going to do here is further simplification I am doing. Observe here. So the same delta 1 is equal to A square into determinant of, sorry here, T2 minus T1 is multiplied with T3 minus T1. Next what I am doing, observe, T1 square, T1, 1. Here also T1 plus T2, 1. 0. But what I am doing R3 as R3 changes as R3 minus R2. R3 minus R2. T1, T1 cancel. You will get a T3 minus T2. 1 minus 1 it becomes 0. R3 minus R2. R3 minus R2 it becomes 0. Now find out the value of this determinant. This is equals to A square into T2 minus T1 into T3 minus T1 that is multiplied with this determinant we can find out. So you will get the determinant as so definitely this determinant this product is 0 minus of this one that's why you will get the determinant as T3 minus T2 or simply from here we can take T3 minus T2 common. So we are getting the answer as A square into T1 minus T2. Here just taken minus a common. Here also minus common. T2 minus T3 so that we can get in cyclic order. Next one is T3 minus T1. After finding, taking T3 minus T2 common, find out the determinant you will get minus 1. That is the reason I written, sorry. T3 minus T2. Okay. Okay, this is the determinant we got. But area is always a positive. That's why we are keeping it in modulus. Okay. So that is the value of the determinant we got. So that is nothing but the area of a triangle. Okay, now here, okay, sir. You have taken the points as a t1 square comma 2a t1. a t2 square comma 2a t2. a t3 square comma 2a t3 taken. That's okay. Suppose here this point is given as x1, y1. Point on the parabola. This point is given as x2, y2. And this point is given as x3, y3. Then what about the area of a triangle, sir? Nothing. Just compare here. In place of 2a, t1, we can write y1 or not. In place of 2a, t1, we can write y1. So what I am doing, observe here. 
so this is equals to 1 by 8a into 2a t1 minus 2a t2 next 2a t2 minus 2a t3 next 2a t3 minus 2a t1 I hope so everyone followed here multiplied with 2a divided with 2a here multiplied with 2a divided with 2a here multiplied with 2a divided with 2a that is the reason I got outside 1 by 8a into this one in place of 2a t1 I can write y1 or not so we will get 1 by 8a into determinant of sorry modulus of y1 minus y2 into y2 minus y3 into y3 minus y1 so that is also the area of a triangle when x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 are three points on the parabola right so this is one you can remember delta 1 is equals to a square into t1 minus t2 into t2 minus t3 into t3 minus t1 next we got the same delta 1 in terms of y1 y2 y3 so this is also the area of a triangle when x1 y1 and x2 y2 x3 y3 are three points on the parabola in terms of t in terms of x1 y1 okay now my question is okay sir here you have taken the points on the parabola as like this but now at a point a you have drawn the tangent at a point b also a tangent is drawn at a point c also a tangent is drawn with those tangents we are getting a triangle what about the area of a triangle yes for finding the area of a triangle first of all you have to know the coordinates of p Come on, tell me what are the coordinates of P? P point, how you will get? P is the point of intersection of the tangents drawn at T1, T2. P is the point of intersection of tangents drawn at T1, T2. You know how to get the coordinates of P as Goa. A, T1, T2, comma, A into T1 plus T2 that is about the point P similarly how to get the coordinates of Q Q is the point of intersection of tangents drawn at T1 T3 so that's why here also go A T1 T3 comma A into T1 plus T3 next R is the point of intersection of tangents drawn at T2 T3. These two tangents intersection point is R. That is nothing but A into T2 T3 comma A into T2 plus T3. Yes, we have again three points are there. P is there, Q is there, R is there. We can find out the area of the triangle as delta 2. The delta 2 is equals to half into A T1 T2 A into T1 plus T2 1 Next Q point A into T1 T3 A into T1 plus T3 1 Next R point A into T2 T3 A into T2 plus T3 1 just like from the first column you can take a common from the second column also we can take a common if you take a common and then simplify you will get the answer as a square by 2 into t1 minus t2 next t2 minus t3 i am leaving this simplification to you t2 minus t3 into t3 minus t1 which is nothing but because area positive that we have to keep it in modulus so that is nothing but delta 1 divided by 2 yes because here delta 2 is equals to 
just if you exclude this two remaining part is delta or r not that's why area of this triangle is equal to half the area of this particular triangle delta 2 is equals to delta 1 by 2 in the similar way if you want to write this method what we can write delta 2 as the delta 2 is equal to 1 by 16 a into y1 minus y2 into y2 minus y3 into y3 minus y1 so that is the area of a triangle formed by the tangents right so this relation delta 1 delta 2 relation required to remember and this formula you have to remember what is delta 1 what is delta 2 yeah, if you know this delta 1 you can say delta 2 nothing but delta 1 divided by 2 you can write in terms of x1 y1 also it is in terms of exclusively in y1 so that is about the area of a triangle formed by the points on the parabola at those points tangents are drawn the tangents we are getting a triangle this triangle area is delta 2 that is the relation between delta 2 and delta 1 delta 2 is equals to delta 1 divided by 2 that is the information what we got So this particular idea I hope so which you discussed in the earlier classes also observe here ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 is a quadratic equation which has two roots sum of the roots is equal to minus b by a and the product of the roots is equal to c by a. Next we have a cubic equation ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d is equal to 0 is a cubic equation it has a three roots sum of the roots that means alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to minus b by a next sum of the product of the roots are taken to at a time alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha is equal to c by a and finally alpha beta gamma product of the roots is equal to minus d by a right the same we can also write it as sigma alpha sum of the roots next sigma alpha beta sum of the roots product of the roots are taken to at a time this total we can represent in a simple way like this sigma alpha beta whereas this is a product that's why we can write simply pi alpha what is the meaning for pi alpha means alpha into beta into gamma in the similar way next if you have a fourth degree equation a into x power 4 plus b into x cube plus c into x square plus dx plus e is equals to 0 that is the fourth degree equation this fourth degree equation has a four roots alpha plus beta plus gamma plus delta that's what we can write it as sigma alpha that is equals to minus b by a next one is sigma alpha beta what is the meaning for that sum of the product of the roots taken two at a time that is equals to c by a and next we can write it as sum of the product of the roots taken three at a time alpha beta gamma alpha gamma beta beta gamma delta alpha gamma delta like that we have to take sum of the product of the roots taken three at a time is equals to you will get minus d by a and finally pi alpha so what is the meaning for this alpha into beta into gamma into delta that is equals to e by a so these ideas better to know okay more ideas will be discussed in the next video lecture okay bye bye